Uh-uh, let me drive by there. I'm sorry, but I'm a girl's girl. White lady or black lady, brown lady. Protect the ladies. I'm glad y'all. Okay, it's two o'clock. I'm leaving the gym. Well, I'm leaving home goods. Was it the gym? Y'all synced it. Y'all seen that girl moving that way. What's up, bitch? No. Okay. <laughs> um, I usually just do Romania deadlifts where like you don't the bar doesn't drop and like it starts your rep starts um at the top instead of at the bottom. So with a deadlift, you start when you bend the pickup where with a Romania deadlift RDL, you start at the top, you already have the weight and then you bend down and you never let it like drop. Anyway, so what I was doing was basically like a conventional deadlift. Um, They do that, I don't know, I wanna say they do that powerlifting, but I don't know, cause I be seeing everybody doing sumo and I hate sumo, I don't know, but that, that was different and I did like it and I didn't think I was gonna be able to do the 225 I thought that was gonna be like a one rep max and I easily did it does the, the actually I did it six times cuz I did three For y'all and did three for Instagram, which means I can do way more I really want to see my one rep max, but I also didn't have my weightlifting belt and I'm like damn my Nike belt Anyway for another day. Um, I went to home goods I'll show you guys what I got later because I told y'all in the last vlog that I was hosting like a girls' night tonight. So I went to Home Goods um, to get some stuff. I need to go to Sam's to see if I can find some little food. If not, I'm gonna go uh, get some stuff from Publix. I know I wanna do meatballs. Chelsea's supposed to bring spinach dip. Um, I think that's pretty much it, y'all. Yeah. I said I was gonna run to Target and see if I could find some card games, but I have card games that don't be getting used. So even though I feel like my card games is literally for like, forget that now, nah, cause we can do like charades. I wanna play charades. Okay, anyway, um, I said I was gonna try my little chicken sandwich that I, sh I told y'all about. I know y'all have no idea what I'm talking about. It's this bubble tea place that's supposed to have like one of the best chicken sandwiches. And it's like a Taiwanese chicken sandwich, so it's different. One, I'm kind of congested. So I'm like, damn, because I really want to taste this. Two, I'm not really hungry and I really want to enjoy this. Um, the only reason I'm thinking about trying it today is because I still, I'm getting, trying to get back in routine, but I'm still not. So like this week, this is my third gym day, which y'all would feel like, okay, but I go to the gym five days a week. But then I was sick, then I wasn't sick. And yesterday I had to work. And yeah, so I did a quad and a uh, glute day and then I did a back and shoulders and then I just did uh, glutes and hamstrings so I missed a day because I work out five days a week but I only lift four so I missed a back and chest um, so I'm not all the way back on routine so I was like this will be a good time to get your chicken sandwich and then I want to grab a bubble tea 
But I don't know because I'm not hungry and I want to make sure I'm hungry when I eat that. It's 2 o'clock. So I'm just going to make my way to Sam's, I guess, and then we'll see. Because uh, I'll know what I need to get at Publix even if I need to go once I go to Sam's. Oh my, here I go. People pleasing. Here I go. Why did I get held up? It sounds by the people trying to say some shit you don't want because you know you came to sales for some food, some tissue, and then they be over here talking about getting some water, a subscription for water. Anyway, um, I realized I may not better do my meatballs. I don't know because they have to sit in there for like four hours. It's three o'clock. I left Sam's with pasta salad um, and like these little popcorn cluster things. So I was like, I don't know, I might get a pizza and like cut it up. I'm not trying to feed you, feed you, but you know, eat the food. I was like, what if I get a big old pizza and like cut it up or um, what else did I think about? I should have just grabbed, they had these little like cheese mancotti things, kind of like a lasagna roll with $10. Like the prices was lit. I got pasta salad in this big old bag of like popcorn cluster things for $14. Um, I'm trying to think what I say. I had something in my mind. I don't remember. I really do want to do the meatballs because it's easy, it's simple, and it's meat. Since we got, like, you know, the pasta. We got pasta. We got, I was going to say artichoke dip. The spinach dip. We do need some meat. Maybe we need some meat. Okay, if I get my butt home, if I get home at five, that's only two hours. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have grabbed the cheese mancotti things. I don't see me being able to make meatballs. If I would've got my butt up this morning and didn't get up, I, got, I left the house at dog on 12. I'm gonna have to figure it out. We need some meat. The pizza I did will be fine. And I said I wanted to get some cookies, but you still get snack. Where, we need, where's the meat? Where's the meat? Meat. No, I ain't about to make no wings, baby. Meat. Anyway, I keep hollering out meat. Do they have sliders? actually would go for some sliders or some little pinwheel rolls probably could get some pinwheels from Kroger or something I'm going to get me something to eat it's three o'clock all right and then I need I think I need a, some soda for this little I bought this drink mixer thing that calls for tequila and I got some on my bar cart and then a soda it's like a berry margarita thing and then yeah I'm not gonna make it no meatballs because I'm not gonna be stressed about them being done I'm gonna serve ready-made food because that's on brand. Is that not on brand for me? Y'all all don't cook. That's definitely on brand. Okay, y'all, I ain't even got into the food. If it tastes anything like that, Y'all, this is a tiger's blood, and I hate to tell you what it is. If you drink, like, milk tea or get boba, this is brown sugar syrup. Like, well, especially it's made there. Like, the lady was telling me how she make it, blah, blah, blah. But it's literally brown sugar syrup and milk. When I tell y'all, this tastes like, oh, my God, I would never drink. If I had to choose between this and ever going to Starbucks again, Starbucks would never see me. I'm not, no more matchas, no more chives. Bro, if you live in Atlanta, I, it's it's up north, Shambly, Beaufort Highway, Java Saga. I ain't even gotten to the sandwich, but I heard it was everything. Forget the sandwich. If you live in Atlanta, please, Brian, what is it? Tiger's Blood. And they got a Tiger's Blood latte. They got espresso in it, but this don't have no espresso. It's literally just the milk and the brown sugar. It's heavenly the way that tastes. Heavenly. Y'all, I got this. It's just chicken sandwich is huge. I seen them wrapping it up and fries for under $20. Like, yo. Y'all, look at this chicken sandwich. Look at this chicken. Do y'all see this in my hand? I know I'm not going to be able to eat it all because I really need to go and I'm not going to be able to eat it. Then I, had, I got these fries. They put like all these different seasonings on. I forgot what they called them. The chicken sandwich has like slaw and stuff on it. Y'all going to see it. Yo, they'll definitely see me back just for the drink alone. The fries are pretty good. They're fresh. I had to wait for my food a good 10 minutes. This is like a garlic aioli sauce. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hate that I'm not really starving because this. Oh my God. Y'all, that sauce. I love house-made things, y'all. They made that in-house. They ain't about that. Let's get into this chicken sandwich. This is crazy. This is what, look at this chicken sandwich, y'all. Do y'all see this? Look at this. Look how big that chicken is. 
This is huge. The damn patty just hanging off the bun. Y'all, I can't even. It's Y'all, I can't even get to it. Oh my god. It look like it's apples on there. I don't care for that. Oh, it is. That's the only thing. Oh, no. Nah, I got to take these off. There's chunks of apples on it. I'm sorry, baby. I can't even try that. I don't want no damn apple. Had I known that, I would have told them, but I didn't know. It has cheese on it, slaw, another sauce, and apples. I took my apples off. This is this chicken sandwich. Huge. I don't recommend you eating this in the car. It's huge and it's falling apart. I'm not gonna hold you. I definitely expected more. If you've had like any of the little chicken tender things from the bubble tea places, they have them like the chicken nuggets. That's exactly what this tastes like. On a scale of one to ten, them apples that had me messed up. I would give it a seven and a half. I I would definitely go back more so for the bubble tea or not the bubble tea, the tiger's blood. This is good, but I had higher hopes. I mean, it's good, it's juicy, it has spice. Them apples would have messed me up. I don't see how that was gonna taste good. But, honestly, I'm more excited for the fries and the, just the, the tea or the milk tea or whatever it is. It's milk and sugar. And the Taiwanese like chicken breast has a, it's a different taste. Like I said, it's not nasty or anything. But by the way that it looked, um, I just expected like I had higher hopes for it. I'm going to eat my fries and take my sandwich with me because I don't really have time. To be honest with you, when I order the sandwich again, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is just a lot. And look at these fries. They give you a lot of food for the price. I didn't even know this was a combo. I didn't even know these fries was like in this thing stuffed like that. I really would just go back for the milk. The sandwich is good, but I honestly, I would rather have Chick-fil-A or a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I ain't gonna hold you. Not gonna lie to y'all. See, I don't lie. But if you gotta go for this, though, for real. And if you get the fries, make sure you get the garlic, garlic aioli with them. Okay, y'all, I'm home. Before I can try everything I got, I gotta make this, because it needs to sit. And I like, got two hours. It needs to be in there, I think, at least three, baby. Today was a day, it's my fault. I don't know why I slept all day leaving the house at 12. Like I just, I feel like I had time, like I always do. And knowing I don't like to be overwhelmed. So anyway, this is one of the things that I bought from Home Goods. I thought it was really cute. It's called Bespoke Berry Margarita. And so like it's sugar and stuff in here, like little dried fruits. And it says, um, fill the entire bottle with tequila and let it infuse. And then you can either like drink it, you know, like it is, or like I bought some little mini sprites. Um, the girls are bringing wine, so you know, this is a little, just in case they want to. But, um, you know, I don't really drink it. Even though it says you can keep it in the refrigerator for um, up to two weeks. I don't even have enough tequila. I, I guess I, I could, my, my best friend left her Tito's here. So, but this all I got. <laughs> that is not enough, but I also have some Patron. I forgot who bought that Patron. And then this is the damn ex-boyfriend tequila. He done left this over here from the summer child. Whatever it came in handy. Something told me just to go on, but I done went everywhere, y'all. I went to Sam's, I went to Publix. I stopped and got hookah codes because my best friend is supposed to bring her hookah. Um, yeah, I should have got my butt up. And I would have went to the liquor store, but yeah it's it's fine i don't think i have to like absolutely fill it up we'll see where it stops at oh that smells so good y'all it smells so like fruity so i'm gonna pour this tequila in here this is cute if i like it i'll buy another one no i won't i don't drink why well, i'm acting like i drink i just thought this was really cute y'all think i should mix tequilas it's gonna be real, real strong. 
I'm so happy to use this and get this shit out of my house because that man bought it. <laughs> so, this is like half of it. Yeah, I'm gonna use some of the other tequila. This ain't gonna be nothing to play with. This ain't even. I be having drinkers at my house, y'all. Because I ain't drunk none of this stuff. Why it's gone? This is stuff that other people bought, that's why. And then they drink what they drink and then leave it. Okay. That's good. You know what? We didn't really fill it up, but that means it's gonna be real sweet. Y'all see that? This is cute though. I ain't gonna hold you. I like that idea. Um, and letting it sit and like infuse. Damn, cause now I gotta put this strainer back on there. I mean, I don't have to, but it held it together. I'll set it out um, later. It's say three hours, y'all. That would be like five, eight, twenty-two. We'll see. I'm putting in the fridge. Okay, this is, I have stuff all on my island as usual. Y'all know how I get down. I use my island as a damn trash can. Like this is the empty baked spaghetti thing. I need to just put all the trash together. Um, I didn't get much, uh, but I need to start cleaning. So let me show y'all what I got. This is my food from earlier. Y'all do not need to see the hoop clothes in the shisha. So this is the pasta salad that's really good. It's the Mediterranean pasta from Sam's Club. I've had this before. So I knew that that was good. I was like, cool, grab that. We got some little veggies with the rest of our stuff. I got this serving tray from Home Goods um, to put this in. This is milk chocolate popcorn clusters. It, um, it has M&Ms in it. And then the tortilla chips or some of them for um, Chelsea's bringing spinach dip. So we can put some in there. And then we can put these popcorn clusters in there. And then I got some mini sprites for the tequila if you want to mix it. Or if you just, you know, want a Sprite because everybody else just bringing wine. I don't have nothing else to drink in my house. Um, then also from Home Goods, I bought some wine glasses just for, because I have some, but, you know, so it's going to be five of us. Yeah. These are brand new wine glasses I have for them, and then I just have another one for me or whatever that's just here. For food, let me see y'all. I know this is a mess. I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to, I need to clean. I wanted to mop my floors. I don't know, but it ain't really dirty. It's always island. I don't have no dishes in the sink really, but a few. But if I take the dishes out of the dishwasher and put them in there, it will be good. I don't have to cook, so that's great. And then I just need to take a shower. Am I gonna put on makeup? I doubt it. No, girl, we in the house. Um, I got some wings from Publix. So we got wings, the spinach dip, um, I did buy pizza and I'm gonna cut it up and put it on the charcuterie board and like little strips. So that's the food. Look, I think I did. Okay. And then also in the serving tray where I'm gonna put the popcorn. Oh, it's three sl uh, slots. So popcorn, some of the tortilla chips for Chelsea's dip. And then I bought these cookies that have like the fruit in the inside. So this is apricot and raspberry. And then I have strawberry. So of course I'm gonna show y'all like everything set up. I'm actually gonna show y'all me cleaning up, girl, cause this is a mess. We got two hours. Oof, that's cutting it close. Okay. Weed on it, that's a nasty. 
ashtray. Say, hey, say, hey, don't we do this every day? Hey, long nights, long nights, get a payday. Finally got paid, now I need shade and a vacay. And you still hate me so much, I need a AK. first teaching job, I home my kid. <laughs> so I used to do the market research studies. And that was one of the ones that Arby's had a big one. They, they were paying $400 me. I won't be there. Yeah. yeah. I like the taste. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Right so, you eating for $400? Oh, wow. Where you from? Which is back when you gave me $600. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go test. Yeah, it, and so you would test like the upcoming. You and know, you said it's called a what test? Market, <laughs> the market research. I'm looking to see. It used to be like research. green diet or green something. And you can go on there and sign up for them. Like I still get the things for them. Like I just got one for like smoking, but it's like if you're not a smoker. I would do the ones for diapers. Nate was out of diapers. I would put stuff in them yeah. to make it look like cool and make it look like pee. Mm -hmm. But I would, you know, you had to take your diapers in. They would give you a new pad. Oh. And you look at, he looks so sick. Why are you giving him season foods? Cause the eyes. Can he eat pepperoni? You gotta treat him like that. Let him treat her dog. The rain, rain, rain. Hey, but no. Let me tell you something. Rain has doggy season. I know. I was looking like, why she giving that dog season? Then I looked doggy season. Yeah. Then I was like, I wanna be rain when I grow up. He got a fucking bed. Bed. You know, living his best life. Yes. And you know, right? That's you know what? You don't know right. Like, how do y'all think? Uh -huh. I'm well, do y'all watch Big, Big Daddy and them on TikTok? The, the Bulldog? Uh -huh. I remember I said that video. I don't think I'm going to remember the dog. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, my God. I love when people be filming their dogs and had a voiceover. It's oh, like, yeah. I sometimes, love that shit. Sometimes? You watch Big Daddy or you talking about? No, but just sometimes when they do that, I, I like it just sometimes. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Sometimes. It's this one little shit, the light of the shit. And then I want that one because she be like, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had a shit, so you little shit. Get your I want one. <laughs> I, I, 
Jasmine. She's a fucking weirdo. You have to see this because I know you've been going out. She had some salmon one day on the counter. Oh. This motherfucker. She, she oh. caught it on camera. He jumped now, on that and ate the fucking salmon. And I had my security camera. I started to run this shit back to see if I can physically <laughs> see this nigga. <laughs> And there it was. Y'all had sleep in the cage. Oh, no, 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 y'all know what irritate me. I don't be on here like that. Right. I don't even be on here like that for real. No, they just be like, oh, yeah, they be wanting fucking Instagram to follow. This one direct messages me. Hey, good afternoon. May I say you're absolutely mesmerizing. I have an opportunity to pursue you and possibly become a friend companion. May I ask, are you currently, are you seeing anyone currently? What you said? <laughs> I'm just saying it for the first time. It's probably <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> so you one of them? I don't be on here like that. I don't be on here like that. That's me. I don't be on here like that. It's just like whenever you in a mood, yeah. What the fuck going on? Yeah. And I seen one guy. He was a, a supposedly was a um a bodyguard. <laughs> me, who catfishing? <laughs> this thing too fine. Let me see. Mm. No, no, I, I, I thought it was a catfish. So I hit eggs. I was like, I don't, don't want to get got. I be doing the same. I like, the pictures look too fine. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, no, I, I don't know. Like one yeah. of the two fine men was the one that asked for my Instagram and then was like, didn't say nothing else. He was so beautiful. I'm like, what's wrong with me? My boy, I hit meditating in the water, y'all. Ciao. Oh, ciao. Heal. Heal. Okay. He my boy, boy heal woman. Nature doesn't hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Where you done got that from? <laughs> Outdoorsman, vegan food eater, athletic. <laughs> you have to be ambitious, loving, kind, family oriented. Faith believing, good with children, health conscious. So he got kids. I love God. <laughs> I love God. <laughs> you don't love God? What's, What's wrong, wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't love it. Okay. Y'all can already guess that height. No. <laughs> five nine. Five eight. <laughs> Damn. But you don't have to. You don't have to kids, but I better be good with kids. But that what you that, say? You don't nah, have kids. You got kids. You right. got kids. Mm-hmm. Cause you're looking for a bank sale. This is right. ridiculous. That's really what you looking that for. That sounds like a nigga got condom. My guy is a um flight attendant. No, he not. I don't believe that. I don't believe flight attendants can't be tall. Cause you got to fit in that fucking. <laughs> I'm serious. They have high requirements for flight attendants. Y'all, it is four o'clock. It's after four o'clock now. I don't even know what time it is. I'm trying to check my it is 4 30. it's 4 30. <laughs> i cannot find those doggone screws the uh, little hook thing that i bought from amazon for the life of me because i wanted to return it at first i wasn't going to but then when i realized i needed to return the magnetic strip lights i was like you might as well go ahead and get your ten dollars back for these two and i don't know where it is and i think that i just went ahead and threw it away because that sounds like something I would do just to not be bothered with it. And now I'm like, well, maybe I don't need to go return the magnetic strips either because I'm pretty sure they was like $3. Y'all, don't waste money like me. Like, they really, they, they're gone, girl. Because why? Well, uh-uh. I ain't no way I would even hear them like this. Okay, let me see. So I can get out here now. I'm trying to rip and run and do my little errands. Well, it may not be no errands to do. Cause I was gonna take um I was going to take that back and return it, but if I don't have nothing to return, then I can't return it. Let me see how much it was. That's wild. That's wild that I would just throw something away like that. Um the hook was $11. Girl, how much was this? No, yes. 
in a magnetic tape. I have that. Watch that be the cheapest thing. Five dollars. So I threw away the most expensive thing. So I guess we're not doing no returns because if I was going to return anything, it would have been the $11 thing. Okay, cool. So I need to go to Home Depot and get magnetic strips to put the lights up in the closet. Um, back to, y'all know I get on this camera ripping and rambling, child. Um, I took Jasmine to the airport this morning because remember I told y'all she was going to Ohio. I had a great time last night. I know y'all didn't get to see much of it and I'm sorry. But it wasn't nothing that could even really be filmed. Um, I'll tell y'all about it more in the car. We'll talk about it. So I'm going to get, I said Home Depot. I'm going to give me a smoothie because I ain't really ate nothing. I had like some of the finger food from last night. And then I'm going to the store because y'all, this is crazy. But vlogs ago, like probably a month ago, Gina made a pot roast and I ain't been able to let it go ever since she made a pot roast. I was like, I want a pot roast. And when I was moving, I remember that I had a crock pot. Here it is. I don't think I used it once in that apartment. And if I did, it was literally once. I forgot I had a crock pot. Who was around when I used to put so much shit in my crock pot back in like keto and stuff? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, I wanna do a roast. She wants to do a roast with some mashed potatoes and green beans. And I don't, I kind of want to buy the mashed potatoes that's already made. Because I don't feel like buying milk and butter. and uh, But whatever. And I think I'm going to go to Kroger. Because the last time I went to Kroger the other day when I was looking for something, um, they had a promising beverage section. And I'm still like really, uh, it is so dark. God, this apartment is dark. It's not just this one. The last one was like that too if it was night. But because I don't have that many windows, this one's really dark. And I need every light on. Um, yeah, I want to go to Kroger. So I'm going to Kroger. We talked about our little Publix thing. And I told you that I used to go to Kroger way more than I went to Publix. And then the rat thing. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Let me go ahead and go because it's almost 5 o'clock now. And I should have bended this so I could be in my house. But I didn't. So now I got to go outside. I really wanted it to be a nice weekend because I wanted to like go to the Beltline with Yum. But it's been like on and off raining. So... That's neither here nor there. Let me just make sure I can remember what I'm doing when I leave this house. Because I'll forget the stuff I was supposed to do. Oh, I cannot wait to get my pineapple serve. Ain't it called pineapple serve? The drink I began from, um... Ugh, smoothie King. I'm asking y'all. I think it is pineapple serve. What, I know it when I see it. I know it when I see it. Anyway, y'all. So, let me tell y'all about last night. It was a great time. I know I did not do my due diligence, baby. But, like, when I was showing y'all me getting ready, then the girls started coming. And it was just a, you know, you got to go. Everybody and I get here at the same time. Everybody got here fairly, like. So, basically, when I was going out to get my best friend, like, literally, when I, before I could put my foot back in my door, Chelsea was downstairs. So, I was doing a lot of going back and forth. And then, um, so, let me tell y'all. So, my best friend was there. She came from Tennessee because she had to fly out anyway. Dana was there, Chelsea was there, and then Tiff was there. And Tiff was the last girl. She came about an hour late, but it was cool or whatever. But basically when the girls got there, like, you know, I'm talking, I'm fixing the food because I didn't even show y'all like the pizza or nothing. The wings or nothing. Like, y'all know, first of all, I forget how to vlog with people around. I keep telling y'all that. But it was a mess. But I, it's fine because it wasn't necessarily a thing I was doing for the vlog. Like, I really had a good time. And I thought about it and my best friend confirmed. She's like, you've never done anything like this. And I told y'all in my last apartment, even though, like, that was my favorite apartment, um, I never really had, like, any formal thing at my house. I told y'all in a vlog, y'all saw, like, Jesse and Rock there was going to the pool. But it wasn't even a thing but I never like okay I'm planning this come over type thing like I am not a host I do not like invite people into my house not cuz I don't you know I'm not one of the people that I don't want everybody in my house I don't but I ain't got no everybody to be there cuz I don't really have a lot of people that I talk to or associate with but it's not that I don't want people at my house I just don't think to do things like that and the only reason I did that was because Chelsea messaged me and was like oh you know I'm waiting for my invite so when she said that, I knew like I could just invite her, but I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a little girls thing because I've never done that and I should do that at my age. So I did and it was a good time. It was a great time. We were talking, which I did get little clips of it. Of, I don't girl, I don't know what I got, but y'all, it'll be in here when it's in here. But um, it was 
Y'all, I'm starting because, you know, we talked about being in the prison and all this stuff as far as, like, our walk with Jesus and our walk with God. Like, that was definitely an answered prayer because I've told y'all before, like, I had prayed for quite some time for, like, friends, like, a nice little group. I don't need 20 friends, but literally, like, one or two people that I could call and be like, hey, do you want to do X, Y, Z? Because my two childhood friends don't live here, and I don't see them as often as I would like. And then y'all know I'm real close with, like, Rock and Jesse, but at the end of the day, like, they still are guys. And so, literally this all began like i've been knowing tiff for a while and we would meet up and do stuff um like occasionally um i'm so sick of being congested like when does it end when does it end I can barely breathe. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. So I met Dana last year, like in the 2023. And I started getting out with Chelsea in the 2023 too. So as bad as I want to say 23 was, I guess. But anyway, yeah, that was definitely an answer prayer just to like have these women in my house. Everybody was vibing, everybody was getting along. It was a good time. We was trying to, I had pulled out the card games, but we didn't even really play them. Cause the conversation was just flowing, but that's a good thing. Like we didn't really have to try. Oh, let's make something to do. Everybody was kind of just like talking. Um, Chelsea got me a gift card to Whole Foods, y'all. And she is the sweetest thing ever. Like, oh my God. I'm so excited though, because I was literally just on the snack the snack page. The snack page for Whole Foods. And was like, damn, I haven't been to Whole Foods in a little minute or Trader Joe's. Have y'all noticed? It's been strictly business publics. So I am gonna go to Whole Foods probably sometime next week and get some groceries. I need groceries anyway. Cause I be doing y'all know I do a little shopping here and there. Um, but then like stuff like this pot roast I'm going to get, I know I could get groceries, but I don't know what I plan to eat for the week and I do not like wasting food. So I know I can eat that pot roast at least the next two, maybe three days and I had breakfast food and I'll worry about it later because I do not like, like I bought Caesar salad stuff y'all, lettuce and that grilled chicken ain't touched it. That's what I mean. And I have to eat it because that grilled chicken ain't frozen. This is what I mean. This is exactly why I don't like to go grocery shopping. So when I bought it, I was in the mood for Caesar salad and then I ain't no Caesar salad. But I know I need drinks. Um, I told y'all when I went to Miami for the um, Gymshark event, I tried the liquid death and I do like that, but I'm gonna stock up on that later like when I do my grocery shopping. Today, I'm really just gonna get the stuff for the roast, potatoes, green beans, and like drinks to have. But, um, yeah, like, I had a really good time last night, and I don't want to say I would do that. It, I mean, I, I ain't going to say I don't want to do it. I don't know. Just, that's something that's out of my comfort zone. Like, I'm really just not used to hosting. And I think it was cute, you know. Was it, like, this thing? No, that's not really my thing. But I think it was cute for me. And my best friend made a comment. Y'all, but they know me, right? So, Chelsea had her spinach dip. And my best friend was like, oh my God, this is set up so cute. It was like baked in this little white bowl. She bought the stand in a little bowl, right? And my best friend was like, this is so cute. I know Amelia ass ain't do this. Who did this? Cause yeah, no, girl, y'all should have showed y'all that pizza that I tried to cut up. In my mind, I was gonna make like strips of pizza, like rectangular strips. Girl, that pizza, girl. It probably would have came out better had I let it cool down, but I didn't want to cook the food too early and people got there and it wasn't hot. So then I kind of waited till people was already there and trying to hurry up and like get it out. But anyway, also I didn't think that everybody was going, I didn't really think they was gonna eat that food. It reminds me, I have that pasta salad from Sam's in the refrigerator, it has to get eaten. And what can I eat with it? Ooh, I can make sandwiches and eat with that. Even though that pasta and bread kind of clashing. I do need something to eat with that pasta. Ooh, if I buy some just bare chicken strips or something. I gotta eat something with that pasta because again, I don't like food to go bad. Everything I eat in its entirety pretty much, except for the pasta salad. Um, so I do need to be trying to eat that. But see, how I'ma eat the pasta salad and the chicken Caesar salad. See, damn, I do not want nothing to go bad. Hi, um, can I have a 20 ounce pineapple surf? Is that all for you? That's it. I said, why not? Thank you. I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew it was pineapple surf these waves.
I'm good. Thank you. I was so tempted to go um, back to Java Saga for the tiger's blood. It was so good, but I was like, yo, do not start that because that's literally milk and brown sugar. It's milk in a brown sugar syrup. It is amazing. But no, ma'am. Thank you. You too. I don't remember getting my damn card back. I guess I did. Girl, we ain't got no money without the card. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's right there. Ugh. Y'all, I got upset because y'all know like I was so excited to get back to work and all this stuff. And like next week will be like my first week like back in routine. I keep trying to get back in routine and stuff keep happening. Why well, I'm about to start my cycle. And I know that y'all are like, okay, that's not a big deal. Like, you, no, it's a big deal for me because life stops, okay? And I'm sad because I'm on birth control and the birth control that I'm on, like, I don't have a cycle every month. Thank you, Jesus. I wouldn't be able to live my life. I don't know how y'all do it. And, um, like, I typically just go months without wanting to my body be like, I'm about to bleed anyway. Don't ask me nothing about it. Just, it doesn't matter. Just know that I don't have them for months on end. And then when I do, the damn world stops. And I hate it. It's the worst shit ever. I don't understand why it's gotta be like this. Oh my God, pineapple surf. You just, mmm. Three drinks, y'all. I gotta add the Java Saga Tigers, but now, but you know, just getting a drink. Y'all know I'm good for a chai and Starbucks with brown sugar syrup. Okay, amazing. Pineapple Surf from Smoothie King, amazing. I hate that y'all can't just go get Tigers Bloods wherever y'all at. Amazing. Top three drinks. Top three drinks of all time. All time. Okay, y'all, so update, I'm leaving Home Depot. It was fairly um, painless. I went in there, and this lady that worked there saw me looking around. I was going to the right aisle. It was an aisle that said fasteners, and I was like, okay, I'm trying to fasten something with magnetic tape, so I should be able to go there. So anyway, I went to the aisle, and well, I saw the lady, and she's, I said, I'm looking for magnetic tape, and she said, okay, I'll show you where it's at, but I have some questions. So long story short, the magnetic tape that I got from Amazon was weak as y'all seen like it wasn't really fastening to the light Then the magnetic tape at Depot is the same way like she took it out the thing She said our, our magnetic tape is pretty weak and that's weird because the Amazon uh, Magnetic tape was five dollars and the magnetic tape at Home Depot was 15 you would just think and I said see I would have bought it and just assuming because it's ten dollars more it would have been more heavy-duty it was not so she showed me these little tiny magnets i don't know they're tiny but she showed me like they had this like magnetic desk right there and she took them out and showed me like how quick it like attached she could barely get it off she said they're tiny but they're really um like powerful or they're strong or whatever and she said this one is missing adhesive on some of them she said so if i sell you this for half off because i don't think i need all of these she's like if i sell you these for half off would that be good and i was like yeah sure so i actually didn't have those are 15 I was too. I paid like seven. And if I would never talk to her, y'all would have bought that tape and been disappointed. So I'm glad that I ran into her. Look at the Lord steady working shit out. He working it out. So now y'all, it's time to go to the store. I don't know. I feel like my stomach is cramping on and off. And I'm like, God, why? I am just dying and begging for like a regular ass. Let me go ahead and leave because this man running walk, walking up the car asking for money. He done walked up to this seat, this white lady and she done rolled down the window and I don't know what he talking about, but see, baby, don't, I don't like that. Like, I don't know what, I, let me, that's why I said, let me pull off. See, she just rolled up her window and he's still standing there. I don't like that. She pulling out and he's still standing there. I'm so glad I started pulling off. I don't know what, I don't think it was just money that he was asking for because he was standing there too long. Uh-uh, let me drive by there. I'm sorry, but I'm a girl's girl. White lady or black lady, brown lady. Protect the ladies. What, Cause what is you doing? Oh, she pulled all the way off. Yes, ma'am. I don't like that. Don't be walking up to her damn car. Uh-uh, let me not go that way. Baby, I ain't got this to do. I'm doing circles in this parking lot. I just wanted to make sure that she was okay. Cause I know that people will see stuff like that and then they will just like 
go on about their business. You don't know what he might have tried to drag her out of the car. I don't know. I don't like that, but she shouldn't have rolled down her window. Don't walk up to my car. I get mad about that. Don't walk up to my car. Like, uh-uh. What you want? Nothing. Begging for me. <laughs> and I'm not, y'all, I'm not that girl. Wait. Because I will get, but don't just walk up on my car. It's a safety thing. Especially as a woman. Ain't nobody else in the car with me. And you a man, don't walk up to my car. Cause I don't know what you, it might not even be about no money. I don't know what you're trying to do. You could be trying to distract me while somebody else jump in the backseat or something. Now let's just be honest about what be going on for real. Y'all, I should have known that old girl was coming when I was asleep all day. Like y'all know I could sleep, but Jesus, I got eight hours of sleep and then I literally slept all day. And then my stomach been poking out. I know I ain't been having the best diet. But it's like a little mini baby over here, like bloated. Anyway, um, I decided, or I didn't even mention, I'm doing all this about this pot roast, which I did get stuff from my pot roast. And I was like, you gotta eat tonight. <laughs> so that pasta salad in there, I decided to just make a pizza with it. So I got this hot honey pepperoni and feta from Kroger. Y'all, Kroger had all of the Kinder seasonings. I mean, and I can't even say all of them, but they had ones that I'd never even seen before. They had a Mexican one. It was lit. I knew, I was like, you've been sipping on Kroger. They had something else that was like, oh, I've never seen this before either. Oh, didn't I tell y'all, when I was in Miami and we got to try these and I said I was sad because they were new and I hadn't seen them nowhere and I had to throw them out because I couldn't take them through security at the airport. Boom, Kroger had the ghost. They only had like four of these, but I've never seen them nowhere else. So see, I told you they drink selection is lit. I got the gold peak tea and lemonade baby drink section on point they had olipop y'all they had all of the flavors this is just a regular grape but i got a cream soda somewhere in here i got they had i didn't get but they got tropical push they had all of the flavors they had the freaking black truffle butter because they have all the different flavor butters that i wanted to use um when I made my green beans and like in my potatoes uh here go my cream soda olipop so yeah i was like I knew that I missed Kroger for something but couldn't put my finger on it. I don't have anything to talk about as far as groceries. Here's my pot roast. I literally just got stuff in my pot roast and like body armors and drinks. So um, as soon as I put these groceries up, we can go put our lights up in the closet. All right, y'all, we're in the dark closet. It shouldn't be dark for too much longer. Um, I only have four lights and y'all know this closet is bigger than the closet the other closet was. So I'm trying to decide like where to put the lights. I don't really need one right here because the light is like centered right here like the other light. So definitely like over here. But I don't want to, so maybe if I put one here and the other like there. Yeah. And then here and there. Cool. Yeah. Ugh. Let me close. See, it's going to, when I close the door, it gets darker. Y'all like, no, it didn't. <laughs> Um, it's no reason to really put a light over here because there's nothing under here, like no clothes. So that's why I said like here and here. Then this wouldn't have any light, but I guess, girl, we can't cover all bases. It's fine. Um, so really with this closet, I could use like six lights. Anyway, these magnets are really small, but they are... She said to wipe this down with alcohol. Am I going to really do that, though? Why am I like this? Adhesive is just, like, falling off. Okay, so I put one right there that was an S. They're labeled by, like, S and N. This is the one that was missing an adhesive. They are sticking to each other, y'all. Like, oh, let me show y'all that one. They are, like, really tiny. They look like this. Y'all see that? <laughs> I can't get the camera to even pick it up. It's so little, like, the focus. But, um, yeah. I just need this to work. Cause I don't have this to do. I'm so done. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with nothing moving no more. Told y'all, I'm over it. Put these lights up in this closet and call it a day. Now, I don't know how. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, y'all, let's see. Oh. 
the N is working, but not the S. What the hell? What is that about? Y'all. When my brother said that's why he just buy new shit over. Like, this is so... It's not working. Like, one... Y'all, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I'm about to just get some tape at this point. Oh, okay, I got the stick, but I don't know how. It's not going to be, this shit going to fall. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. This guy told me just to get, he's like, just get some double-sided tape. Oh, the reason why I couldn't do that is because I have to take them down for them to, um, they have to be, uh, recharged. Y'all, at this point, I'm just going, I'm a, right, I guess they just won't be under or put them on the floor. You know what? I'm about to put them on the floor. They're motion detected. This is ghetto. I cannot. I don't know. I'm going to put one like above the little bar and then on the flow. I don't know. I cannot. Especially not today. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I'm going to close this door and see how they work. I let them go off. I cannot. My stomach is hurting and I'm just going to let it. I cannot. I cannot, how much do these lights even cost? Because when I was telling my brother, like about um, when we was worried about the taking the the shelves in the shower, and I was like, how am I going to reattach them? And he was like, I just start all over. And um, I was like, I'm not going to rebuy them shelves, but when I see how cheap they was, I was like, okay. But now I got to buy lights every time I move. Which is crazy. I don't know why. That's wild. Let me see how much that was. They were twenty dollars for a two pack. So I spent forty dollars. I don't want to spend another forty dollars. But I ain't got no choice. Cause nothing won't let them stay. I can't like if I take them on there. I have to be able to take them down to recharge them. I cannot believe this. Hey, I seen I walked up here and it lit up though. They literally, y'all, look at them. On the floor, and then just sitting on top of it. <sighs> hey, let me see what it look like. Because really, and I don't think they're really helping. It really be just, it's not light enough in here. Um, Does this help me, like, to look for stuff? I don't like it. I liked it better when it was, like, coming down. Of course, it was better. Baby, I don't know what to tell you. Today... Not today, I don't know. Because, baby, I'm about to lay on that. I don't know what to tell you. They're like, no, nah, I would tell you. You don't want to need the lights. I don't know what to tell you. I'm about to sit my butt down and chill. What time is it? It's 7.30. I'm probably going to eat in like an hour. <sighs> Be worried about these damn lights. I'm <laughs> that literally irritated me for real. Why? Jesus. 
Oh, how thank you, Jesus, that you have given us our own mats that we've been laying in far too long. And we can go home, God, and live according to what you say. Amen, amen. I, 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 I just for a brief moment, I want to speak from the thought of healing through the ceiling. Any paralysis on the right side of my body that I couldn't walk, I couldn't lift my arms. And some of y'all may remember me walking around on the cane when we was at Chelsea Good. It was, it was very, very hard. And, and let me tell you something. My pride as a man began to weigh on me. I, I Again, once again, I was triggered by the humiliation and, and by the embarrassment and, and by the fear of if I ever would be able to walk again. Listen, yes, yes, yes. See, a, a medical paralysis, it affects and uh, affects and affects your bodily function. A psychological uh, 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 paralysis, excuse me, and it gives you frustration, hopelessness, and depression. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's emotional, where you're sad, you're just distraught, you can't move. But let me tell you something, I don't know where you are on your paralysis. Lessons can become a burden if it's not managed well. Come on, come on, I'm going to say that again over here. I'm going to say it over here. And if y'all don't witness with me, I'm going to find some rocks that'll cry out. What I'm about to say, blessings can become a burden if it's not managed well. Oh, some of y'all want financial blessings right now, but you can't even manage what you got. Somebody want a spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, and you can't even manage your attitude. Not just here in Chattanooga, but in our community. Not just in our community, but in our state. Not just in our state, but around the world. It's a church. We started seeing so excited. House of God. That is sick. Well, are we prepared? Are we prepared? Oh, God. Are y'all still with me? Because sometimes you be up here and you be. Hey, good afternoon, y'all. Let's check on our roads. It only been here for like two hours. I know it's nowhere near done. We got like five hours to go, but I like to look and see uh, what she looking like. Raw. <laughs> y'all, let me leave this roast alone. Oh, it smells so good. So yes, good afternoon, y'all. It's Sunday. Um, this is a Sunday fun day. Chill. Sunday. I haven't had one in so long. I put laundry in the washer. As y'all see, I cleaned up from my girls night. Everything I had. The girls glass is still in the sink. The island is clean. Um, I put my Sunday dinner on, baby. Mm, 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 feeling grown. I should light a candle, but the roast gonna have the apartment smelling like all day. So I'm like, why? I don't see why I would be wasting my good candle mixing strawberry champagne with roast. But anyway, yeah, it's just a chill Sunday. I'm not doing anything today. Nothing. I'm, I don't, I'm not even leaving the house, baby. We got everything we need in the crib. In the crib. Y'all, let me tell y'all about the um, the closet lights and I figure something out. And I don't even know why it took me this long to figure this out. The reason why the magnetic strips are not working on the lights is because the lights are a magnet. The lights, I don't know what made me go look. I was like, no, this ain't right. Ain't no way. Because when my brother said he just ordered new things. Remember I told you about that last night? I totally understood when it came to like the shower um, organizers, right? Because they were like $15. But you want me to spend $40 for, well, the lights are $20 for each two pair. I don't see why. I feel like that's a lot of money to me have to spend. It's not like how you're not like you move it every month, but whatever. I just feel like no, these lights have to be reusable. I get the shower things, whatever. No. So I went back and looked at the original order that I made and like, no, maybe you can order like replacements through the seller, blah 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 blah. Y'all, the strips that I stuck on my closet were not magnets. The light is a magnet. And to prove and test my theory, me, th theory, me, theory, I'm gonna stick one on the refrigerator. The strips that the light was sticking on are iron strips. The lights are magnetic, and it literally said, like in the description or whatever, it said um, they'll stick to any magnetic surface or something like that. I think this is a magnet. Anyway, the strips was never magnets. I read it. It literally said iron strips. They're made of iron. 
So I'm trying to buy a magnet to stick to another magnet and that's why. <laughs> you see that? You see that? Yeah, no problem. So it needs to stick to iron. And I'm not sure if Home Depot sells iron, which I don't really care. Um, because I know I can get it off Amazon and I'm just so tired of spending money. I want to take back the little magnet things, but I kind of don't because it's like, I don't feel like it. But the iron strips are the same amount. Even the magnetic strips I bought and I was like, well, I don't feel like returning them this $5. I can get iron strips though for like eight. So that would be my money back, especially if I took back the, um, the little magnetic things to Home Depot. I have to start storing over my money better. I know that it seems like, oh, this is an insignificant price, but remember we talked about over consuming and just doing better with our finances in general? Like I threw away that hook. Like, why would you do that? Because I thought the hook was $5, which doesn't matter. Y'all, I know that y'all know people that will return something that was $5 if they couldn't use it. And why I feel like I don't need $5 is beyond me. Cause why I don't? Every time you get, remember we had that top list five or the top five, top three drinks. Don't them drinks be five dollars? Yeah, you need that so that you can buy Olipop. That's, y'all, I didn't tell y'all this. Why is the Olipop at Kroger more expensive than the Olipop at Whole Foods? At Whole Foods, and y'all know, see, I don't even be paying attention to the prices. See, I'm getting better. The Olipop at Whole Foods is two forty nine, and the Olipop I bought yesterday was like three dollars and forty nine cents. That is wild. Kroger, you got some nerve. Who you thought you was? Anyway, so I know that I need iron strips now. I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and place this Amazon order. I'm going to return this and I'm going to have to just take my little happy butt on back to Home Depot. Am I doing it today? I don't think so. I don't see that for me. But um, yeah, I'm going to do that and then I will order the iron strips. So I do want to talk to y'all about the church message today that I got. The biggest thing that stood out to me, it wasn't like our usual pastor that is preaching. Actually, it was his son. The biggest thing that stood out to me was stewarding over the blessings. Like I just basically said that God give you or asking for blessings that you're not you're not ready to receive them. Because I've already come across this revelation with the things that I want. And I was talking to my mama about it. Um, so now I'm going to tell y'all. So this is the ghost um, Sour Patch Kid drink. It's so good. It doesn't have any caffeine in it or anything. It's like a body armor or like a prime. Cause it's 10 calories. It's like, you know, it's basically BCAA. It's a hydration drink. It's BCAA that's already made pretty much. So I told my mom and I can tell y'all too, cause y'all have also made comments. Like y'all know how I'm obsessed with Gymshark. Y'all know how bad I want to be a Gymshark athlete. And even y'all would say, oh, that's going to be you one day, blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, why you didn't ask them what you need to do, and blah, blah. And I told my mom, first of all, I think I, I'm already familiar with the Gymshark um, process of how they choose their athletes. It's not really something that you can apply for or talk to anybody. They kind of just scout. And I told my mom, and I'm going to tell y'all, I was like, honestly, I don't deserve to be a gym shark athlete at this point in my life. Um... <sighs> I was realizing this today too as I was scrolling and looking and y'all know I was talking about making like another channel. My channel that y'all are currently watching me on when it was just Britney Snow or whatever. It, I've done many things on YouTube like I've said. I've done, you know, um, vlogs back in the day, makeup videos, fashion videos, like pretty much a lot of things. But the videos that always gained my channel traction or that got me traction in the first place to even get the amount of subscribers that I have were fitness related content. I can't say the same thing for Instagram. Again, I was doing makeup on Instagram, just pretty pictures like, you know, outfits, blah, blah, blah. But I would not for YouTube or Instagram just like stick to making fitness videos like staying in that niche and I have told y'all before that I have even thought about trying to move my way out of it and I don't want to say that's what vlogging was but I think that was an attempt to get away from it like you're trying to leave it so with that being said how can you say that you were pursuing like being a gym shark athlete you want to be a gym shark athlete and you trying to get away from the type of content that that's specifically what you would need to be posted and I told y'all that was because I wasn't sure of it because of the way that I look. And I know we are past that now, but I was just thinking about that again. Like, you, 
have not been consistent with posting this type of content because you felt some type of way about it from how others would perceive you and it was crazy because as I was walking my dog this morning I literally was like how could you for real and I think about my like my brother asked me what does your explore page look like and he was talking about Instagram and when you look at my split page there is 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 weightlifting stuff like people at the gym or like active wear outfits now there is a sprinkle of other things maybe some food maybe some nails but it's mostly like gym content and as i was walking young i was thinking like how dare you try to stray away from something you just love so much that just like really lights your heart like makes you happy because of you feeling like how others would perceive it Cause it was never about me as much as it was about how other people would think. Oh, other people would come across this content and be like, oh, this is a joke. And that is so crazy that you really let other people's perceptions of things get into the way of what you were trying to do in like your journey. So no, you don't deserve, you don't. Cause you didn't, I told, I told my mom, you want a, 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 bil a billion dollar company to believe in your ass when you won't believe in your ass enough to even stay consistent and post this type of content. And as I was coming to this revelation, I told y'all in that Gymshark vlog that when I left the house that day, I said, Lord, please let this day change my life. And what you may have thought that meant, I didn't mean it that way. I meant it exactly what I said, whatever that is. And then I told y'all that it did. Cause now I had this thought process. Like when I got there and I felt those emotions that changed my life. Because I knew that I loved it. Yeah, I did. I knew all that. But I can't give y'all like the expression of feelings that I actually felt that day. It changed my life. Because it caused me to have like the thoughts that I had walking up. Like you really, something that made you feel like this, you didn't want to do it because of what other people was going to think about it. And not to, not to, also, not only that, but like I told y'all, if I had a million followers, 950,000 of them are rooting you on but you was worried about the other look at me trying to do math the other 50 whatever most majority of people are on your side with it and like they're rooting you on and you're their inspiration but you're still worried about the little bit of people that's got something to say and that's keeping you from doing something that you really want to do something that's really helping and inspiring other people and you have some fucking nerve and like I told y'all about Kiki if Kiki would have been like me and be like, oh no, nah, maybe I'm not gonna post this because I don't want nobody to say nothing. You wouldn't have never came across her and you really wouldn't have posted it. But it's like, again, that, think about if she wouldn't have did that, how that would have affected your life. You are doing the same thing. Like you, this is ridiculous. And it's like a slap in the face. And it goes back to the church sermon when he was saying, you asking God to bless you for things that you're not prepared for, you're not ready for. And that is why this stagnant thing that you're feeling is you. It's always you. I be telling y'all it really be us in our own way. It's you. You want things that you can't, you're not prepared to handle mentally. And you're you're going, it would have just been a shame for me to be picked up by Jim Shark or anything and for me not to be everything that I could be for the brand because you don't want to post content or whatever. Or maybe, you know, maybe you would have done better because you would have felt like you had that validation from a billion dollar company telling you that you could do this, but you didn't need that. You don't need validation from them. You only need it from yourself. So again, no, no, you 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 are you're not prepared for it. So it just made me think about that and among other things that I pray for in the sermon. It was saying how sometimes we pray for things and instead of it being a blessing, it is now a burden because we wasn't ready for it. That that has happened to me. Like I wasn't ready for highest. Honestly, it has become a, a huge burden. Cause I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for a lot of things and th that became a burden. And now it's like, but I love these things, but you, you just wasn't ready. You wasn't there yet. So now when I, when I received that message, I wanted to pray and I will do like a prayer thing later. Like, a, cause I like to, you know, open up my prayer journal or whatever. And I, Lord, please give me the wisdom not to fumble the blessings or the things that I'm asking for help me be a better steward and I've already like had this kind of thing because I haven't been a good steward with the things that I have been given and I have a lot more than some people I'm in a better position than some people and it's like you are mismanaging everything that you have so I can't give you any more you're not ready for any more and that's true and it sometimes you really just have to look deep down inside and accept that because you think well God ain't did this and I've been praying baby you ain't no no, this ain't that. Like, you really be having to look deep down to get there. 
but I see that and now certain things that haven't happened for me is probably for the best and I'm glad for it because it was just going to be another burden another situation that you mismanaged when it was supposed to be like a blessing y'all don't fog my camera up honey my roast is roasting she is falling apart yes because I checked it y'all y'all see when I checked it and it was still I checked it when it was like only been there for two hours and it was still very much like a whole piece of meat and I was like when does it start falling apart now as you can see and I'm still gonna let it sit it is like almost six o'clock um she ready like I've been eating some of it oh I ain't got my bonnet on lord um but I said eight uh I have to create a workout plan for somebody I ain't did nothing all day but watch I finished the survey I look so crazy I finished the survey on Apple TV so now I can start some of the other shows y'all tell me about. My best friend told me to do the changeling. And one of y'all said that too. So I guess I'll start that tonight. I ain't even looked at nothing on Netflix since I lived in this apartment. Has it been two weeks? Look at me. I think, wait. Because last Sunday, yeah, it's been two weeks. Last Sunday was a week. And I was gone. Why well, I just got back. It's been two weeks. Yeah, so um, I haven't even turned on Netflix on my TV. None of them. I've been all wrapped up Apple TV. Right now, I got a vlog plan. Say hello to Chelsea, y'all. I watched a vlog. I did nothing else. I've been on my phone. I've been on TikTok. I'm about to take these clothes out the washer and put them in the dryer. And then I'm going to make this workout plan. And yeah, I just wish I could go to the gym tomorrow. I am one of them girls that refuse to work out on my cycle I just I just think it is and I'm not calling nobody gross but I think it's gross because I don't want to be sweating and bleeding in the same area that was too much but I'm saying I'm just telling you I can see that bullshit from a mile away. See it. You can step my mother about a mile away. Stack it. I got three white bitches like it's powder day. Watch me go with them rolls like a Sharpe. And all of my bitches says they call them Barbies. She looking back like I'm flexing, baby, no way. And lately, I've been on we that. Got on the tray. On the tray. Real chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Yeah, I done got me a chick, I got a chick. Need some rest, I'm gonna flip me some pants. Yeah, I talk like I want it, she don't say nothing. If cops pull up, I put that crack in my crack. Y'all, oh, I done dropped some. I forgot to tell y'all. Y'all know I went to Kroger the other day. I been sleep on Kroger. And y'all know why I have my personal reasons. But Kroger, I'm about to add you back into the rotation. Don't piss me off. These cookies, y'all, I love deli bakery items so like i don't really care for like let's say oreos or you know chocolate chip cookies that's in the aisle i like to stay on the outside of the aisle it's the fresh food think about it. the fruits the vegetables the meats the dairy the bakery where they're making the bread and the stuff right these are harvest apple pie spiced apple cookies y'all I did not think I was gonna like them as much as I did. I actually did. I was taking a chance. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna like these. When I tell y'all them cookies slap, the cookie has like the apple, you know, you know how it's like that gooey apple mixture. But it also has pie, like crushed up pie crust in it. They had a whole bunch of different other flavors, but that one was the most unique, and it actually is really good. And I thought it was going to need to be warmed up or something. Baby, slapping straight out the box. Also, y'all need to give me an E for effort after I'm on here talking about cookies. I literally did get up. Y'all got to sit down. I got to sit down. 
I do not know why women have to go through this. This is horrible. And I know at 31, I should be used to it, but I'm not. And I don't think I'm ever going to get accustomed. Menopause me, please. Menopause it. Pause it. We don't need it. Anyway, I got up. Give me an E for effort. And I was like, you know what? You've been a little light. Stuff been light. You know, I ain't trying to say too much because it could be some little men's on here. But it's been a little light. You, you should try to go to the gym. You should push through and just go. Maybe, do you know, do some light stuff. After I walked young, that was a lie. I was like, oh, no, this ain't going to work. <sighs> it ain't going to work. I can't. First of all, like I told you, I should have known something was happening because my stomach, I've been bloated. Why am I dark now? I've been bloated. And then, remember when I told y'all I kept waking up to pee? When I, when yo, I don't know, it, is, it did the same thing last night. Like, I was peeing, like, every couple of hours. Because my body's trying to release this water that I'm holding on to for some reason. And, I, again, another, it's just so many signs. My damn ankle was swollen the other day. Not bad, but I only, and you couldn't really see it, but you could feel it. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I was massaging, like, my feet or my ankles or whatever. And the, the right ankle felt fine, but in the left ankle, it was a little like mushy where the actual bone is like you know and i was like what is this why is this swelling up right here i'm holding on the water i'm tired i'm sleeping like it's nobody business the other day i slept and i'm like i don't really sleep. like y'all know i was telling y'all i couldn't even sleep longer than seven hours baby i've been sleeping on sunday no that was saturday remember i didn't even get up to like four o'clock like i got up initially and took young out and then i came back and like slept to four it was so many signs that this was coming, but I have told y'all before I expressed, I just want to go back to my regular life, baby. I want to live my regular life. This is Monday. I was supposed to get up at the gym doing content, work, work, work. Like, I don't know why I told y'all I was in that little phase where I didn't want to do nothing and I felt stagnant. And then as soon as I'm like, yes, let's go. I got you to do big snow. Let's work. Stuff keep happening. I was moving. I got sick. And now this. But I can still do some work. I'm going to edit. But I want to go and like make content. Go to the gym. Blah, blah, blah. I can't. And I was like, you know what? I usually use this time to like not do anything and to rest. Because usually I need to rest. Because y'all know I be on go mode and I be needing to rest. I don't feel like that's been the case. Like, I don't feel like I've been. Because I've been so in that I don't feel overworked. And this is the time to go. But I'm going to use this time not to just sit and not do nothing like I usually would. Which would be fine. Because I do be needing to rest. But it was like, there's other stuff you can do. That doesn't recall cause you to like exert energy. Like I brand emails I could be doing. Um, I'm gonna edit y'all. I can be planning out content for next week so we not waste some time what we were doing and we hit the ground running. Y'all been asking me about that body recomp guy that I used to have and I found it on my computer, so I think I'm gonna revamp it and release it again on Thick Like Mia. Because y'all know like the little leggings, it's like eight leggings left, y'all. The flare leggings. The the merchandise is gone. And I don't know when it's gonna replenish it could be six months it could be a year so now my t my um, focus is going on to thick like mia what i should have been doing but you know for reasons i i did not focus in on like guides and stuff to help people get to where they're trying to be without doing the most because y'all know i do the least like i just had a cookie like stop playing with me just had a cookie and then the picture and the thumbnail y'all seen baby took that today i'm uploading some right here baby stop stop i just want y'all to know that you do have to do some work and you do gotta do some things but for you to look a certain way now you know if you're trying to buy I'm, i don't think nobody that watching me is trying to be a bodybuilder or be like extremely ripped so that this don't apply right you do not have to do the most you really don't you don't you don't now i know that i work out like a damn dog but that's because i genuinely like it you need to do that actually actually well when it comes to like body recomp because you do need to build muscle um the food is more important the um, but when you're trying to do body recomp you can slack on the food just a little bit Cause you're not really in a trying to be in like a huge deficit this is not the video for that anyway my only beef is let me tell y'all so when i make uh, workout programs for people or when somebody bought some leggings <laughs> or when um i have i have training clients i have like three clients right uh when i train them and then i need to like do their workout programming for them and then I, I go based off what you got and like this one girl was like she had dumbbells which is cool y'all uh, y'all know how i feel about dumbbells but then i had to tell y'all the other day them dumbbells wore me out now mind you they was 55 pounds but um she was like they were five pound dumbbells and i was like i'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all that that ain't gonna help you especially 
if you're bigger like i know i just know now i do actually have a client i told y'all about it she's like thin she's like 130 pounds but most of the people that come to me is big because poster child for big women okay <laughs> doom five pound dumbbells not no 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 even when i'm thinking about like a lateral raise now see those are hard y'all they really are i don't i can do them with 15 but i can only probably do like six reps i really be in like the 10 range why am i getting into detail with this because i love it so why you ain't been doing it anyway the point i was trying to make is you don't have to do the most you do not have to do the extreme body weight if anybody's selling you a damn program and they tell you you can just do body weight exercises they lying they're lying for body recomp anyway no ma'am well it depends because <laughs> like a push-up yeah but like a squatter y'all need weights like you just do it don't have to be a string you ain't gotta go five days a week but you need heavy weights because progressive overload is going to carry you and anyway like i said this ain't even a video for that but i be getting into detail about stuff that you love <laughs> I got some new Savage Fenty stuff for this month. That's what I went to get to show y'all. Cause I was like, I might as well end the vlog showing them something cool. Cause baby, I don't even know what I vlogged this, this, these last couple days. Cause I feel like I've been stuck in the house and I'm really about to be stuck in the house. And before I open this y'all, I decided I wanted to attempt, and I've talked about this before, but I, was, I decided I wanted to attempt actually posting three times a week. Like, you know, three vlogs. And I was like, but listen, the way that I like to not leave my house, except for to go to the gym and buy groceries and we don't, like we can't go to the grocery store every day so that only happens maybe twice a week i don't like to leave my house but i had plans though i had this 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 week was supposed to be lit with vlog because i had plans to do stuff that i needed to do and wanted to do and it involved leaving the house but now we're stuck in the house because i don't move around on my cycle like that i just cannot okay girl she done sent some more what is it me a lot of stuff this time and i got two bags Okay, Fenton, let's see what you got, girl. Oh, we got another. Y'all remember when I posted and broke the internet with this set? I ain't break the internet. But for me to get 2,000 likes on the Instagram post is a lot. Because we ain't been, yeah, we ain't got the juice like that, for real. <laughs> anyway, they sent another, like, bralette that's, like, cream. This is so cute. With the matching panty. I remember when I had a Savage um, X Fenty, uh, like, membership. And now, you know, get, I get monthly stuff for the freezy. The, oh y'all look at this bra and i ain't got no bras like that right now i got me a new bra with the matching panty it's a my and it's a thong oh let me feel it yay i need to buy some panties too this is nice though i ain't gonna want to wear these i don't like wearing y'all the way i like covet my black panties i know that's that's wild like they just be black cotton thongs and i covet them like i don't want to wear them because they're my favorite i do stuff like that so like if i know i'm about to wash clothes like i just washed dark clothes yesterday then i'll wear the panties but i don't like to wear them because they're my favorite why the hell they just regular ass black panties i don't know then if that's the case then all your panties should just be black because that's the ones you like anyway oh lord a cramp i can't do this lord i can't I ain't even see that. So I got three little sets. Y'all probably like, damn, them panties big. <laughs> but come on now. Y'all know what I look like. Stop playing with me. What size are these? An extra large, probably? Yes, ma'am. Oh, this is cute with a little matching bra. And then I got like a little lounge one. I am excited. I hope the other one is some active wear, though. All right, y'all. Ooh, look, this is like a little lounge room. Ah, this is so cute. Um, and here we have the little matching panty. This a full panty. Oh, baby, I hate full panties. Anyway, so we got three like underwear sets, and then. This is, I feel underwired, so it ain't active wear. I wanted it to be active wear so bad, but I feel underwired. Oh, they just sent a whole bunch of lingerie this month. Damn, it's all lingerie. They just sent a, well, somebody getting a set. Let me see. They just sent double of this. Just the same thing. Yes. 
Okay, they said double with that. Damn, I wanted some active wear. Because I don't want to take pictures in lingerie all the damn time. This is cute though, this color. Why am I opening this? It's the same thing as the pink one. It's just the other color. Okay, and then they sent another poppy, it looks like. Yeah, in black. Where is the bra? Oh, this one didn't get a matching bra? Yes, it did. Oh, they must have made a mistake. Okay, yeah, because I have duplicates. So I didn't get a matching bra to the black one. Okay, I don't I don't think I was supposed to get two packages. But somehow. Alright, well, now I got duplicates of stuff. Anyway, y'all. I'm sorry that I've been in the house lane. But if you here to the end and you made it and you kicked it with me, leave a cussing ass emoji because that's how I feel because I just want to be out the house and I want to be at the gym and I want to be productive and everything keep happening to prevent me from doing that. So we're cussing. Leave a cussing emoji. Thank you. I'll holla.